you're doing well this is Jessie here with another video and today I have something a little bit different for you all I was recently tagged by the lovely vintage sack she is a youtuber and we both have very similar taste and styles in handbags so I'm going to go ahead and link her channel in the description box so you can go ahead and check out her channel whenever you have a moment she tagged me in a the the bags that I am afraid to wear subject or topic. So I'm excited to share that with you all. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first bag that I have to share with you all is the Henry Bendel backpack. I'm not sure the exact name of the style of the backpack, but this was very popular when it first came out. And this is a lovely bag. It's made out of nylon. It The hardware is gold and it can be worn as a top handle like this it can be worn in the crook of the arm it can be worn as a backpack which is how I prefer to style it and it can also be worn as a crossbody if you link these two straps I am just afraid to wear this because this was something that was gifted to me by my husband he had my um, initials hot stamped on it and although it's a durable bag it already has some wear and tear on it and Henry Bendel no longer makes bags they're out of business so if I were to get it stained, um, if it were to rip or something like that, I'd have really nowhere to take it to get it repaired and I wouldn't be able to purchase a new one, even though I don't think I would want to purchase a new one anyways. So oh, here's the first bag. I have a total of three bags to share with you all. The second bag is a recent addition to my collection. I don't know if you can guess what it is, but it is from Dooney and Burke. And it is the Florentine Satchel. Now, this is meant to be a workhorse and it will be a workhorse. I'm just scared to wear it because it does scratch very easily. This is a very smooth, look at that shine. This is a very smooth, buttery smooth leather. And even though it's a tougher bag, it has the rolled handles, which are nice and firm. It has the whip stitching here, you know, nice thick stitching on it. Really afraid to get it scratched and not scratched in a way where I have one or two little scratches. Like I'm afraid that it gets like a gash across the front or, you know, across the back. We'll see how this goes. I've been wearing it and I've had no complaints up until now. So maybe, maybe in the future, I, I won't be so afraid to wear it. I think because it's new, there's also kind of a little bit of a fear factor in there. So the last and final bag that I have to share with you all is from Louis Vuitton. I really wanted this bag in high school so badly and I, I had the fake one. I think everybody did at that point. <laughs> I was finally able to get my hands on this and it's just such a nostalgic feeling every time I look at it. This definitely is the one that I am the most afraid to wear out of all three bags. And it's always unavailable on the website. I had to stock the website for like two or three weeks. I happened to wake up at like two or three in the morning and I said, let me check really quick. And I, I went on the website to check and it was available. And I had all of my um, shipping and payment information saved on my LV account. So I quickly signed into my LV account. I placed it in the cart. I checked out and I got the confirmation email from Louis Vuitton the next day that my order was going to be fulfilled. So I was extremely happy about this. I've worn it once and I wore it the day that I received it because I was so excited to wear it and I have not worn it again. It is none other than the Pochette Accessoire. That's right. Reasoning for purchasing this was to make it an investment piece, something that I would just, you know, wear it once or twice leave it in like new condition and then resell it some you know sometime down the road but i love it so much and i've wanted it for so many years that it's going to remain part of my collection it fits my iphone it fits my victorine wallet although i wouldn't put a wallet in here even though it's a compact wallet i'd probably put a card holder and it'll fit you know a makeup compact some lipstick and my car key fob here is the strap it is in like new condition. I've never worn it with this strap. I have worn it with this crossbody chain that I purchased from Amazon. I can link this down below, um, but it's a nice little delicate chain. 
and it allows you to wear it crossbody. You can even double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag if you'd like. Um, but then for that, I'd use this. And those are the three bags that I am afraid to wear. <laughs> Thank you, Vintage Sack, for tagging me in this. I had a fun time filming this and sharing this with you all. I'm gonna go ahead and now tag Autumn Beckman. Um, I'm going to tag the Handbag Housewife and I'm going to tag Purses and Tea. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.